Hey everybody, so in this video I'm just going to talk about how to quickly install a Van Ert trap. Um, this is a Van Ert trap and I actually normally there is a orange sticker that's over here and that will help tell somebody whether they've caught a sparrow or any kind of bird actually or not. Um, but I did cover mine up with just some black cloth because every every bird was seeing this and they weren't going into the nest box with uh, with that sticker showing. So I had to cover it up and just kind of keep an eye out on it. Uh, one thing you can do is also install a uh, nest box camera and that's really helpful because it's motion activated so you're alerted right away if there's something in your nest box. And I'll have a video on how to install a blink camera also. The way the Van Ert trap works is uh, this would be the side that faces out toward, uh, outside and um, and this is kind of the, uh, the trigger here. So there's a flap and um, there's a, ooh, I don't know if you can see this, but there's just a little bit of a prong. I don't know if you can see that. I'm sorry if you can't. So right there, there's a bit of a prong. And what you're gonna do is you would put the flap behind the prong, so it's like that, and the bird will go into the hole and plop down and trip the trap. So that's, uh, and then it, it locks up the box so the bird can't get out. And you know, on occasion you're gonna get a native bird. You probably will get like a Carolina wren who's very curious. And it's very important that you understand how to identify a house sparrow, especially a female house sparrow, how to differentiate that from some of the native birds like pine siskins and um, house finches and song sparrows and things like that. Um, that I'll try and cover in another video down the road and when I do make that video I'll be sure to link it but um, so yeah you you want to know what you're doing there because you will get native birds and you when you catch those you release it it's also very important that you monitor the boxes that have traps in them and when your traps are set you are checking them because you you don't want to stress the birds out you don't want anything to die in there if you know that a sparrow is starting to go in and out of a box or building a nest in a box you're gonna put your trap up and um, and you're gonna wait and once it's triggered then you you know you go out and you check it with that uh, let's talk about how to install it so I have a nest box here and um, pardon all the screws this is for monofilament which is another topic but basically what will happen is you're going to want this on the inside covered so it would be like and you really can't tell what I'm doing here so you're gonna install it and there's little screw holes here um, supplies you're gonna need is obviously your nest box your Van Ert trap I really like to use an all this is super helpful this is also the tutorial for if you if you don't have a drill or a screw gun or whatever um, even better if you do because the whole process is usually quicker um, you want a screwdriver uh, and then you want little sized screws. So uh, these are the smallest that I could find. So um, one of the things in doing this that I have learned is that, oh sorry. Uh, one of the things that I've learned in doing this is that it is kind of a beast to try and install one of these with the door in place. You can do it. So. Um, so I'll try and demonstrate it that way, but the other thing you can do is uh, with this box, there's just some screws. Uh, sorry, don't know where I'm pointing. There's some screws right here. You could just unscrew this, get the, the door out, and it goes a lot quicker. And then uh, once, once you have the screws placed for the Van Ert trap, then you can just screw everything back into place and it's super easy. But I will demonstrate this uh, in the situation of not having that or I'm going to try anyway. There are these two spots here and this is going to help with like taking your trap on and off after your screws are put in. So what would happen is you would you would have your screw and it's going to be inserted in this lower part and then you would just push so it's inserted in this lower part and then you push your trap down. Same with the bottom screw here. So you would just have your have your screw and you push down. So this is gonna help tell us where we need to 
mark. We're basically gonna mark where these top spots are. I'm sorry if it's out of focus. When you're doing this, um, one of the things is you wanna make sure that the, the, the flap here is covering the hole. So that's where you're gonna place it. And then again, you're going to look and this is gonna to be tough because there's already some ridges. So I'm gonna kind of adjust here. I think that's okay right there. Um, okay, so you're gonna mark this spot, the top section, and this spot, which is the top section, and that's where your screws are gonna go. So I've got my awl here, and I'm going to just get a good starter hole going. There we go. And Okay, you probably can't really see the starter holes, but they're there. And I'm just gonna dry this a little bit better. Oh, sorry. So poke that through a little more. If you don't have an awl, by the way, you could just use a nail or a thumbtack to get the starter hole kind of marked. And then you wanna make sure that you have the kind of screw that has like the little, I don't know what you call this, the, the auger part to it. So now, you just get your screw and your screwdriver and you twist it in. And the one thing is like, this is definitely gonna show up on the other side. It's um, a bit of a long screw. So. Then you get your next screw and I have my starter hole down here. So I'm gonna get that going and just place my screw. And drive it in. And again, it's too kind of too long. I definitely recommend using a shorter screw than what I've done for this, but um, if it's all you have, it's also all you have. Then I've got my van art trap, and on on this oops sorry, on this fat end that's where you're gonna um, put it over the screw hole, and same um, here you're gonna put this over the screw section, and then you push it down. So uh, I think I need to loosen it just a bit. Starting here, I just slide. I hope you can see that starting here, slide. And then you can see how this other screw is showing up and then I slide it down and there it is. So then when you wanna take the trap off, you just push up and pull out. When you wanna put the trap back on, you do exactly that. Um, to set the trap, you would just uh, pull the trigger down and push the flap down. And I really like to make it super touchy. So I do that. And then you close your box. And the trap is now, the trap is set in your box. So that is how you install the Van Ert trap. And again, you wanna make sure that you check your traps. I do wanna say that um, there, are, there are other types of birdhouses out there. So um, I, I also have this one. This one was a beast to insert a Van Ert trap. And the reason for that is because it has a side opening. So the problem is with a side opening, um, with side opening, it is very hard to get a screwdriver in there. It's like, let me, let me see if I can show you. Like you just, it's hard. It's not easy to do. Um, I had to take the door off of this one and I also had to take the lid off of that. So just to kind of show you, there are special screws here, which means that you are going to need a screw gun 
or if you can find a screwdriver, like sometimes there's interchangeable screwdrivers with heads. Um, you just gotta find the one that fits this and that'll allow you to open this thing up and do a partial disassemble. Um, the other way you could do it is to have uh, just taken this front end off. Um, still probably have to yeah, unscrew the roof too. So you disassemble it and then you reassemble it. And uh, so it is, it is not easy for um, birdhouses that have special screws and stuff like that. I hope I hope that this uh, helped. Um, it's it's really easy to install these things if you have a, a box like this. And if you don't, it's not that it's hard. It's just that you're going to need some extra equipment when you're doing it. So that's just something to look out for. So thank you all for watching. Good luck with it. And uh, yeah, take care.